If you're a student like me, you know how hard it is to multitask on a laptop. I mean, even with a bigger screen like the 15 inch I have here, it still feels cramped while working with multiple applications. Therefore, having an external monitor is pretty much an essential to me. But there is a problem. I'm a student. This means I need to save money and also require a lot from what I buy. Luckily, this problem can easily be dealt with with the new macOS Catalina and iPad OS, which have been available since October 2019. With these new updates, Sidecar is now available. Sidecar basically turns your iPad into an external monitor for your Mac. And for the last two months, I've been excessively using Sidecar and yeah, let's see how it goes. Sidecar was released alongside macOS Carolina on October 7th? Wait, yeah, on October 7th, 2019. You'll be able to use Sidecar with iPadOS compatible iPads and also compatible Macs for macOS Catalina. Setting up Sidecar is impressively intuitive and simple. All you have to do is click the AirPlay icon on your Mac and then look for your iPad's name and then click on it. And there you go. Sidecar supports both wired and wireless connection. With the wired connection, you would follow the same instruction. Just remember to hit trust this computer on your iPad so that both devices can transfer data to each other. After that, you can rearrange the positions of the displays in the display tab in system preferences on your Mac. With the iPad, you can use your Apple Pencil as a mouse, but there's no hovering mode like the Wacom tablets. You can only click and drag. Furthermore, you can also use two fingers to scroll or zoom on the iPad, but with the scrolling, there's no elastic scrolling. There's no smoothness to it. The moment you release is the moment it stops scrolling. So and Apple, you can work on that. Now, let's talk about the image quality on the iPad with Sidecar. The image quality with Sidecar on the iPad is pretty nice. On the iPad, it looks pretty clean, but if you take further inspection, you can see that the image is mildly desaturated and somewhat compressed, but that's kind of expected with this kind of connection. So what does it feel like to use your iPad as a second monitor to work and study with? Long story short, pretty magical. With Sidecar, I can utilize my iPad's 10.5 inch to display different tabs, different applications, or videos. The two configurations that I find myself use the most is using the iPad screen to show the Messenger tab, because I use Messenger a lot, and to use the iPad to display the viewer for Final Cut Pro 10 when I'm editing. While using it to show either one or two tabs or even three tabs, it works pretty well. The display quality is good, which makes reading text and subtitles a breeze. While using it to show the viewer for Final Cut Pro 10 while I'm editing, it's a mixed experience. Let's start out with the pros first. First, the latency is surprisingly low and might even get lower with a wired connection. This helps me assure that my edits that I make are accurate and spot on. Second, the details. Even though I said before that the display quality with Sidecar is like not top notch, but it's still good enough to see all the small little details on the screen. But there are still some existing problems. The first problem is color rendition. As I said before, the image with Sidecar on the iPad is desaturated, which makes color grading and color correcting kind of impossible to do. Second, unexpected CPU slowdowns. This is something special because I haven't seen anyone who reported this on YouTube yet. This problem occurs when, well, you're using Sidecar, but then your MacBook starts to tremendously slow down to a point that every single movement is laggy and choppy, which is very frustrating. 
and annoying this can easily be fixed with um, like just disconnecting and reconnecting with the iPad but it's still very annoying when it occurs now with this problem I don't really have to worry much I mean it uh, only occurs to me every week or so but still it's very annoying and disturbing when it happens especially when I'm working or even editing in Final Cut Pro 10 on all sidecar is a feature that is very intuitive and magical. To me, it's one of the best, if not the best, feature that macOS Catalina and iPadOS provide. Sidecar is awesome for people and students who already have a Mac and an iPad and want to utilize the iPad screen. But if you only have a Mac and you're not intended to buy an iPad, then just go out and buy an external monitor, an affordable one. It's much cheaper and with the same price for that iPad, you can buy a pretty good screen though. Alright, that is the end of the video. I hope this video was good and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the like button and also the subscribe button so that you know when I upload another video. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.